Hey guys, what's up? It's the Tech Hacker here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install 5.50 Gen D3 Final Build on your PSP. Alright, so the earlier edition of Gen D3 was incorrect, and it had a few bugs in it, but this is the fixed and final version of 5.50 Gen D3. Uh, you'll be able to play games that require at least 5.55 up to 6.0 official firmware. And I just want to say really quick, thank you to all you subscribers. I finally reached 300 subscribers, as you can see there, it's kind of coincidental. I just logged on to see 300 subscribers. But yeah, thanks a lot to you guys. And I just want to say to all of you guys that haven't subscribed, please subscribe, uh, rate the video 5 out of 5, and comment if you'd like. Um, also, if you break your PSP during this installation, I am not held responsible, but I will attempt to help you unbreak it. There's about a 1-2% to chance that you might break the PSP. That is, if you are not using correct methods, and you, like, I mean, if you do stupid stuff during the installation, basically. It should not happen to you if you're following my instructions and you listen to what I say. Sorry that I'm flying through this video, guys. I have a lot of stuff to talk about and very little time, sadly, since I'm not a partner yet. Uh, the requirements for this is a PSP 1000 or a PSP 2000. Except on the PSP 2000, you cannot have a, a, a motherboard TA088V3 motherboard. If you have a PSP 2000, you cannot have that motherboard or else you will break it. And also, you have to have at least firmware 5.00 M336 although the installer works on 4.01 M33 it's better if you uh, upgrade it to 5.00 because you'll, you'll definitely lower the risk of installation installation failing or breaking by a lot also for PSP 3000 users or the 2000 with the TA 088 V3 you can still have custom firmware by installing 5.03 Gen C Okay. Also, the PSP battery has to be at least 78% full, but I highly recommend that you're charging while you're upgrading, just in case. Also, set the original theme and background for XMB, for the XMB, so set it to original, the theme and background, under the, under the uh, color settings or something like that, or theme settings, yeah. And then disable all your plugins, and by the way, back up your saved files, so if they get corrupted, you still have backups you can just place onto there. Now let me show you how to disable the plugins. What you're going to do is hold the right trigger right here and turn it on. So just keep holding it. It should be completely turned off, by the way, and then you have to turn it on. So um, right here, you just go down to plugins, and it says all these are enabled. So what you're going to do is one by one, just go up to them and press the X button. As you see there, disabled, you go down again, disabled, go down again. Disable, just do that for all of them, thankfully I only have four. So then you can just press back and then you can click exit and it should um, normally just uh, turn on your PSP. Alright, now for the theme. You have to set your background and theme to original, so you do that by going down to settings, theme settings, theme up to the top original and background up to the top original so then it should be good so if you met those requirements you're now ready for the installation method what you're going to want to do is go to the link that I set out in the video description on your right just click on more info and uh, it'll have a link to this 5.50 Gen D3 final build uh, release download take you to PSPSlimHacks.com or maybe Mega Upload or something like that I don't know what I'm going to send it to but yeah, you're going to want to go down, click download, right there, click on download, and then you're just going to want to click free download, um, a pop-up is probably going to come up, you're going to enter this code, yeah, there it came up, Let's see. you can click skip this ad right up here on the top, or apparently not, I don't know, but when this ad goes away, you just close it, 
and then you're going to type in the code and click free download when the time comes down to zero and then you should be good. If you guys know how to use those download sites, it should be pretty easy for you, so don't worry about that too much. Okay, so for now, for the installation method itself, you're going to have a download that comes up like this. Okay, let me set it out apart from those, the other one that I have right there. It should come up with something like this. I just named it to uh, this, just so you guys don't get confused. So it's nice and clear for you guys, 5.50 Gen D3 Final Build. So, what you're going to need is to install WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R, -R, onto your computer. It is free and it extracts the files into here. You won't have these books if you don't have WinRAR or another extracting um, program installed for ZIP or RAR files. As you can see, this is a .zip, as it says right there. That's what the file type is. So once you have WinRAR installed, free download in the video on your right. Eh, right there. So yeah, so download that, it's free. What you're going to need is once you installed WinRAR, you're going to right click on this and click extract here. Something should load up and then right there it comes up with that. Okay. So it'll either come up with a folder, one folder that has all these four things in it. Here, let me just move these on over to the side. Okay. You don't need the README, so I'm just going to move that over, and you don't need this uh, text right here. All you need is the PSP and 550.pbp. Also, you don't need the zip file anymore. You just need these two uh, 550.pbp and PSP files, and that's all you need. So now what you're going to want to need to do is um, connect your PSP to your that's uh, sorry to your PC so with a USB cable as I have right let's see let me zoom out for you guys that's a USB cable here's your PSP the slot on the top you're just gonna connect it if it see as it automatically went to USB mode if it doesn't do that it's gonna want to click on USB connection under the settings tab and it should go into uh, USB mode. There, USB mode. Set that on over to the side, and you should have a pop up like this on your computer. Click open folders to open folder to view files. Alright, I'm just going to move this over to one side so you guys can see it. Hold up. Okay. Now, it's pretty easy, but just follow the steps so you guys don't get confused on any of this because you do not want to screw up at this point. As you see right here, it has 550.pvp on the root of my memory stick. This is my PSP. You're going to want to delete this, okay? Delete it off your PSP. Now, drag and drop the 550.pvp that you downloaded, just the 550, and you just drag and drop that onto the, th the root. It should start copying. It only takes about 10 seconds. Okay, then on your PSP's root, you're going to click, uh, double click the folder PSP and double click, click the folder game, okay? Then right here on the PSP folder on your computer, double click that, double click game, and then there should be an update folder. Now what you want to do is drag and drop this onto your PSP's memory stick. should come up with that. Okay, now you should be done with your uh, computer for now. And you can just exit out of USB mode by pressing the O button on your PSP. So just click that, it should come back to your normal screen. Now all you have to do is on the PSP now. So just go to the game, go to memory stick, click that. And I'm going to look for 5.50 Gen D3 xgen install it right there click it by pressing x I don't have too much time remaining so I might be going through this and I might skip the installation process itself but don't worry about that okay so now you're gonna click enter if you're sure you want to do this so press x 
and right there it says flash install CFW 5.50 Gen D3 and you're just going to click X it should start installing uh yeah so I will leave it like this but if my time does run out I'm sorry but I'll have to skip through it alright so it did finish up here without any problems and I do have 5.50 Gen D3 so now once you're done you either click X to reboot or O to shut down. I'm going to click X to show you that it did work. So it's going to reboot now. And any second it'll pop up. There it is. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Later.